Okay, hi everyone. This is a quick overview of the Enlin EL04 lock knife that I've just bought from bladesandbows.co.uk. Check them out if you haven't done already. Quite a good website, quite a good company. Um, it's a lock knife, as you can see. It's an axis lock as well. Um, quite a smooth mechanism, although it was really stiff to start off with. Uh, if you do watch a lot of videos, of which there are on YouTube, about this knife, you will see that a lot of people do mention about the mechanism being rather stiff. That's a negative, first out of the box. Um, the other negative is the screw that tightens the actual um, blade uh, has a real unusual fitment. Um, now, there's no blade play whatsoever with it. It's really stiff, works really well. It's just an unusual fitment, and if that screw should ever come loose, then I'll either have to cut a line in it with my Dremel to tighten it or find an unusual um, fitment for that. The handle material is micarta, which I really like. It's got a nice black and green thing going on. Uh, it's really grippy in the hand and uh, it's also got some little indentations which they've uh, cut into there, which helps it fit in your hand. It feels like a perfect fit in the hand to me. Um, the, the blade on this knife, it's, as you can see, it's uh, 8CR13MOV steel, which is much better than the, uh, the 440 that you usually get with a lot of knives. Um, the, the feel of the knife generally is a quality feel. It feels like it's a really good product, but again, a lot of people will say this because the people that manufacture this knife, they also manufacture for some of the, uh, the better manufacturers in the knife industry so uh, that's why I mean you're getting a quality product just not necessarily the the name that you would like on there but if you're not bothered about that which isn't an issue to myself because it's more more what the item does and how it performs rather than you know what name is on there um, it's got a couple of holes there for some paracord or any other cordage or any kind of key ring attachment you may want to add on there um, these spacers in between uh, they do the job perfectly and they look rather attractive as well uh, this doesn't actually um, you can't push it in as much like you can with a lot of cheaper knives either and again I mean I like the axis lock because you've got a lot of strength here where with liner locks you actually lose the the integrity once you cut that bit away for the actual uh, locking mechanism the um, Tom studs work perfectly Although I only really use the right one because I'm not so much of a lefty. Uh, it's got some nice little jimping on the top as well, which helps you get a bit of a grip should you need to push down and cut on anything. A uh, little choil at the bottom as well. The um, Going on to the sharpness of the blade, um, it was really sharp out of the box. I will put a little video um, after this section just showing you how sharp it was out of the box. Um, Definitely, I would say razor sharp, um, bordering on shaving sharp, but uh, it, it loses a little bit of the sharpness points because of the blade being so thick. It's approximately three millimeters thick. This blade, uh, it's got a, a partial flat grind and a drop point blade. Uh, looks really attractive, I think. Just appeals to me, uh, and obviously other people that buy the knife, um, and. Uh, it's uh, the pocket clip on there is nice and stiff so if you want to carry it on you you can do so um, and it won't you won't really find it going anywhere not with that clip um, the with regards to the length of the knife um, the, the handle itself is approximately four and a half inches uh, so that's 11 and a half centimeters if you go metric the the blade is uh, approximately 3.3 inches that's 8.5 centimeters um, overall in length you're looking at 20 centimeters which is in the region of 7.8 inches long um, so it's it's a good enough size for, for any general use or even if you're just one of those people that likes to play with your knives all day if you want to play with knives axis locks like this are perfect for it um, they really just like let you just play and play away you know not not as awkward as liner locks um so uh, that's the main overview of the knife okay thanks for watching um you can like this video if you want uh, even subscribe because i'm going to try and do more videos um and uh, i'll see see which uh, 
see, see what I can come up with next. Anyway, thanks for watching.